All right. When you deal with the endocrine stress cycle, people talk about um, chronic fatigue, things like that. And they really want to know, how does it work? Why does it work? What happens? Well, I was talking to you the other evening, and I mentioned the fact that your emotions play into it, your diet plays into it, and all those different things. So, if you have any type of a uh, flight or flight response, it causes your adrenals to fire. We'll just write flight or flight up here. When your adrenals fire, the first thing it does is it causes your heart rate to increase. After your heart rate increases, obviously your blood pressure goes up. And then you start to breathe heavier and harder, so your respiratory rate goes up. That's because you're getting either ready to fight for your life or run as far and fast as you can. The problem is that's what slows down your digestion. If your digestion slows down, your elimination goes down. At which point your toxic burden is going to go up. And all of that because of the adrenals starting to fire. Now there's different reasons that the adrenals fire. It can be you're exhausted. It can be that you just drank sodas or ate something that's bad for you, sugars, so that your body's not normalizing its regular metabolic profile. One thing that can happen is, that most people don't realize, is the emotional component. And I, I alluded to the fact that, you know, if your boss comes in and says, I need to see you at 11 o'clock, and walks off, you're like, what did I do wrong? What did I do? I did, no, I got this done, I got this done, I got this done. And you're like all stressed out, and then they show up, and you're like, uh, I'm ready, and they're like, I don't have time for you now come back at 2. But you won't eat right because you're not really hungry. People will grab a snack, they'll grab something to burn some sugars, keep going, push, push, push. A lot of people will do coffees, caffeine, five-hour energies. Uh, they'll get their sodas. And then you show up at 2 o'clock and your boss gives you a raise. Well, that whole time you've been in fight or flight, all these things have been programs that are running in your body that you're not even really necessarily aware of. So here is a really basic endocrine class. We're going to say that these letters of the alphabet represent certain products. And if you take A plus B, add those together, they're going to go to your adrenals. The adrenals are your get up and go. You got to go, got to go, got to go. Sometimes you need to go back to sleep. Let your body heal, reset. You know that 10 minute power nap that resets everything? If we take items B and C, that goes to the thyroid. Your thyroid works with your immune system and weight metabolism. And that's what they're always going to get your thyroid checked if you're losing weight, gaining weight, how's your immune response, T4s, T3s. Next in that chain, um, ovaries and testes. And that's a reproductive cycle, drive, things like that. From there, it'll bounce back up and start to stress the thymus. The thymus is associated with heart. And this is where people will get levels of anxiety, stress, shortness of breath. The heart might flutter. <coughs> different things like that. These are regulated predominantly by the pituitary. That's the switchboard operator. When it becomes too backed up, too stressed out, it goes and it'll start to tax the pineal gland, which is basic brain function. And if it's not working right or it becomes stressed, you end up with brain fog. So, Here's what happens with a lot of people. They go, 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 their adrenals become fatigued, they start to gain weight, and then, you know, for women, their cycles become irregular, they have more than they should, it's longer than it should, they may miss one altogether. Men, their sex drive drops, their ambition drops, they get, start gaining more and more weight, then the heart gets all stressed out, they have anxiety, panic attacks, the heart starts to flutter, they can't catch their breath, the pituitary becomes stressed and nothing is regulating the way that it should 
and it's like, hi, my name's Dr. Michael, sorry. You know the answer, it just takes you a while to get to it. And the reason is, is if you put a demand here for more adrenal support, all of a sudden it's taking all the B and the thyroid doesn't have enough. Or it starts to backfeed and donate some of its component to feed the adrenals to go and go and go. At which point you get a breakdown here and it starts to backfeed. And so it takes all the D that it can get and you get your back feed and it just creates a domino. And that's how the, that's a real basic explanation of how the endocrine stress cycle works. It's definitely a lot more complicated than that. There's a lot more precursors that go into making adrenaline to make your adrenals work, but that kind of gives you the idea. If they have to share the resources, if one gland is taking everything, you're going to have a short. So whenever we see that you have any of these type things going on, we set up a computerized analysis, check you out. It's just a computerized stress test to see what part of the system is stressed out. We support the adrenals, we start to rebuild the thyroid. If the thyroid is hyperactive, we work on working with the other organs, the thymus, for the anxiety, the stress, the panic, things like that. That makes sense? Any questions? Okay.